I've fished all my life and putting in 200 days plus a year, I get to see some amazing things. But the standout feature, the one thing that is the most amazing and without doubt the most scary, was swimming with a 300 kilo mako shark. We were up at Port Stephens during the marlin season, obviously chasing marlin. Now, we'd started off really well. We'd got a fish in the first 10 minutes, hooked it up, everything gone to plan. I jumped in, filmed the release, it was perfect. And probably a couple of hours later, coming on to lunchtime, we hooked up again. This time the fish played up. You know, he wouldn't stay with the boat, we had to keep chasing him reverse. Whatever we did, he'd do something different. And to complicate matters, we kept marking a second fish on the sounder. So we kept stopping and trying to, you know, being the greedy blokes we are, feed a second bait out. And we never got another bite. And of course the fish we were hooked to would bolt. So we finally got him to the boat. And you know, he's playing up and I've jumped in the water while the guys are holding him. And as soon as I've jumped in, the fish has just really calmed down. And which was a little bit odd, but I didn't think anything of it. The plan was to release this fish, but what we want to do is do a few photos beside the boat for ID purposes and, and for the magazine. Everything was going to plan. I got a few close-ups. So I've swum up and I've done the shots beside him. Can you get something to me with it, Alex, on the I've dived down, done some shots underneath. I dropped back to get that final shot and suddenly everything went completely pear-shaped. I've suddenly felt this whoosh. And I've turned around thinking, what was that? And there is this massive 300 kilo mako attached to it. The sharks bit the marlin midship, and then he's worked his way down towards the tail. Once he's hit the tail, all hell has broken loose. Everyone's gone, oh, you're the luckiest man alive, you know, a 300 kilo shark would have eaten you first. That shark was never going to eat me. He naturally feeds on the marlin. I look back at this experience as one of the most amazing things. And for me, it's the biggest privilege ever to be a part of it, and definitely not on the menu, to see nature and the raw in such a way. And it was sad to see the marlin eaten, but to be a witness to that is something I'll never, ever forget. And I've got the photos to prove it. Club Marines tips of the week. Firstly, use circle hooks. 